Another kind of node which is very common in any HTML file is the attribute node. Now attributes are kind of a special case because they always exist inside of an element. For this reason there's a bunch of special attributes uh, or sorry special methods and special properties for dealing specifically with just attributes. I'm going to talk about uh, just three of those right now. Get attribute, set attribute, and the data set property. So if we look at our HTML, you can see the h1 tag has an attribute called role. The main element has an attribute called role and another one called class. We could add an ID attribute, call it main as well. Um, title, if you want mouse over text, title is the attribute to use for that. So there's a way that we can access attributes inside any, any element in your web page through JavaScript. And once you have access to the element, so here I have my main variable which is pointing to the main element, I can access the attributes inside of main. I can say main dot get attribute and then the name of the one that I want to get. So ID, class, role, title, any one of these. So title, right now I don't have a title. So if I were to console.log the title, there we are, no, it doesn't have a title attribute. If you want to create an attribute, so let's say we wanted to add the title attribute to the main element, main set attribute, easy enough, and the name of the attribute is title, and the value is going to be my movies. That's just going to be my mouse over text. My movies is what's got written out. And if we look inside here, yep, there it is. Title, my movies. So we can find attributes using get attribute. We can change the values called set attribute or create them if they don't exist with set attribute as well. The data set property gives us another interesting way that we can add information into our web page. If you look at these list items, you can see I've added attributes called data hyphen year. Now, this isn't something that exists in the HTML standard. There's no data year attribute. However, what they did add in HTML5 was the data set attribute. You can create your own attributes as long as they begin with data and a hyphen, all in lowercase. Then you can create whatever you want as the rest of the name and save values. So here I'm embedding information inside the list item that's not part of standard HTML. If you want to access those, we can use get attribute and say I want to get data year for my list item. So let's change this let li equal main dot query selector and I'm going to use ULLI and that's going to give me the first list item inside of the UL which is inside of main Shawshank Redemption so get attribute data year uh, this should be LI I'll change that there we go so 1994, that is the value of the data year attribute. Now there's another way with these data attributes, because it's a special class of attributes, there's actually a property called data set. If you access things like that, so if we said console.log li.dataset, this is a list of all of the data set properties inside whatever element you're working with. So data set dot year would be the property that we're looking at here. So if we run that again, there we go, 1994 again. And you can also use this to change the properties. If we were to come in here and say li dataset dot year equals 1998, there we are. We've changed the value of that. So we've got 
get attribute, set attribute, which can be used on any one of the attributes, or the data set property, which gives us a list of all the data hyphen properties that exist inside that element.